North Africa, 100 million years ago. Hey guys, Mike here and hope you're all doing well. And sorry for my prolonged absence. I've currently been finishing up my latest creature novel, Primal, and I'm set to release it within the next week. Very excited about that. But ever since I was a little kid, the area of the world that most fascinated me with regards to dinosaurs is none other than North Africa about 100 million years ago. And recently this year, while watching Discovery Channel's epic show Serengeti, I began to see some parallels between the modern day Serengeti, a current ecosystem, and an ancient ecosystem 100 million years, in, years ago in North Africa. Now the Serengeti is a place like no other, a massive grassland that supports a complex and diverse array of life. The Serengeti supports all this life because the animals there, primarily the lions, leopards, cheetahs, wild dogs, and hyenas, are all hunting different resources, so they're all carving out their own niche. They're all making their own way. And it's pretty cool to see that North Africa appears to have been the same 100 million years ago. Take Spinosaurus, an absolutely enormous predatory dinosaur that stretched 50 feet or more. Now this huge aquatic predator made its living by fishing and taking full advantage of the huge rivers that made up its environment. Carcharodontosaurus was a massive T-Rex sized predator that would have potentially taken down young sauropods and maybe even a full grown or a sixth sauropod. Deltadromius was a medium sized lightweight fast predator that would have made its living by hunting smaller dinosaurs and maybe even crocodiles. There's also Bahariosaurus, another cool animal, a large theropod possibly weighing up to four tons in weight and perhaps existing on medium-sized dinosaurs. Now it's incredible to think that North Africa about 100 million years ago could have supported these enormous four predators, if not more animals out there. But it's definitely true and watching Serengeti makes me realize the parallels between an ancient ecosystem and a modern day ecosystem. But North Africa 100 million years ago was possible because each of these enormous predatory dinosaurs was exploiting its own resources, carving out its own niche. Some made use of rivers, others hunted small game, others potentially hunted crocodiles. So it appears that all of these large predatory dinosaurs was not competing with one another for the same resource. Maybe there was some crossover a little bit here and there, but it definitely appears as though they were making their own true unique living by using unique food sources to one another. Let us know what you guys thought of this video. I myself really like this concept, this cool parallel concept between the modern day Serengeti and ancient Africa. And thanks as always for watching you guys. Take care.